Welcome to this month's Highland Hit. So we're going to focus going back into the basics and work on some elevations for high cuts because high cuts are a really difficult movement for Highland dancers. And whether or not you do extension high cuts or you just do the, the double cut portion and not the extension high cuts, these exercises can still help you focus on the elevation necessary that, to have while you're doing high cuts. So we don't have that side to side action while you're doing your high cuts, right? And especially if you're starting with regular high cuts and progressing to those extension high cuts, you really need to master the elevation portion before you start to add in the extension movement. So here are the two movements here. These are not so much intervals that you need to do back to back so rapidly. It's more about focusing on your technique while you do it with your body alignment and elevation. Okay. So the first movement we're going to start with is an assembly change change with a very mini leap, a small leap. I know that when we do extension height cuts, we can either go to, we're aiming for normal height or some of us aim for really big ones, but the most important thing, especially when you're building and going back to basics, it's understanding the turnout and the evenness of the extension, right? Now this will help you, if you don't do extensions, this will still help you for your leaps. We're gonna have our hands in first position, going on to a simple change, change, mini leap, and then you rebound, right up again, one, up two, up three, up again, one, up two, up three, up again. So we don't stop and pause at the end of the leap. We rebound right on up. And your focus during this exercise is your posture, staying on the spot, and then executing that mini leap with straight legs, pointed toes that have tennis shoes on, so it's not great, but pointed toes turned out. And they're even, right? We don't have one side higher than the other. Okay? So if you can execute eight to ten rounds of those, that's a great portion to add into the current dance warm-up, right? Now our next movement is going to put us into practicing your double cuts without that lean. Now some of you, if you're not as comfortable or familiar with this movement, you might pull out your bar to do it, okay, and you have your bar in front. Otherwise, go ahead and have your hands on your hips, or if you prefer, you can have them in the third aerial as well. And we're going to start with a double cut, no extension in between. So it's double cut, switch, double cut, switch. It's just your double cuts on the spot. Your goal is to focus being on the spot. So it might help to actually put a piece of tape down or be on a spot or a tile on your floor that you know that's where you're gonna stay and focus on what's going into here, okay? This is also a good opportunity if you're going to focus on just your rhythm, you can work on imperfect or perfect rhythm for your high cuts, just depending upon whether you're doing sword high cuts or real high cuts, that kind of thing, okay? So try to execute a good eight rounds on each side. Right, as you're doing that. Now, if you want to put these together in a hit interval, what my suggestion is is that you do your rounds for the single change change mini leap, okay? And then you take a break for about 15 seconds and progress right on into your double high cutting loop. And then take a break 15 seconds. Cycle through three rounds, you're all set. So that's how you can make this work into an interval workout for you, but still focus on your highland technique back to the basics, right? If you have any questions or comments, just leave them below. We'll see you next time.